Laura Noel, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about munchkin feeders. These are two fresh food feeders that Munchkin brand makes. This is the Munchkin mesh feeder and this is the Munchkin silicone feeder. These are things that I got early on in Maddie's life and wasn't sure if I'd use or not, but we actually love them and have used them a whole lot and so I'll tell you a little bit about how. This is what a mesh feeder will look like and they come in packs of one or two. Uh, you can get them everywhere from Mar uh, Walmart, Target, Amazon, all kinds of places like that. They have a little clip that you push together and it opens up and you can put different things in there. You can put fresh fruit, you can put ice cubes, frozen fruit, all kinds of stuff, age appropriate food for ages six months and up in there. And then you just close it and give it to them and they gnaw on it. And it goes through this little mesh stuff and so they get the juice and the kind of the meal of the food. Maddie loved these. From the very start, we put um, all kinds of foods, bananas, um, melon, all kinds of stuff like that, and she loved it. We tried vegetables, and she wasn't so fond of that, but we later learned that she really just doesn't like vegetables plain. She wants some kind of taste with them or a mixture with fruit, but anyways, um, these are unfortunately a pain to clean. They are so hard to clean. They do say their dishwasher, top dishwasher rack is safe. I've never tried that, but you have to soak them right away. And I usually have to get a little bottle brush uh, and start picking out in there because especially like bananas, little pieces will get stuck in there and then it can grow mold. So here's my thought on these. They're really only a couple bucks each. Uh, if you get them you know, at a place like Walmart or Amazon or something, if you use these a lot like we do, I would suggest replacing them once a month. Yeah, I kind of had a hard time wrapping my mind around that, but I felt a lot better because they would start getting spots and stains and I just, I didn't know what was in them. So because we used them so much, I got new ones every month and just threw the old ones out because I didn't want to deal with any stuff in there. Uh, but that's just my opinion. She doesn't use this very much anymore at nine months, but she did a lot at like the six through eight months. So these were super helpful in helping her learn to chew, I think. Uh, because she has a sensitive gag reflex, we couldn't just give her finger foods to try like a lot of babies can, uh, but this was something that got her to eat food because before she was completely refusing everything, long story craziness uh, but this was super super helpful and she loved it not all babies love it but she really did you can also put frozen stuff in here when they're teething and i think that it is while it's a pain to clean and kind of a disposable product after a while i think that it really does serve a very good purpose and it really has been helpful for us the other feeder is the silicone feeder. Now, I originally got these because I saw people talking about making breast milk popsicles for their babies, and they are awesome for that. It has a lid, which is kind of a pain. It, it kind of doesn't always go on exactly right, but hey, it's that. It has the same, the two little clips that you push, and it opens like that, but it's just made of silicone. It has one giant hole here at the tip. See, like that. Uh, so, this is great for liquids. I do make the best milk popsicles. I fill it up with a little bit of milk, put it in the freezer, put the cap on, put it in the freezer, and a couple hours later it is nice and frozen and she loves sucking on that. You can also do water or um, fresh juice from straight from uh, the fruit and she loves those as well. So we make little popsicles from like cherry juice or something like that. You can also give them purees in this. We did this a few times with Maddie before she started saying, uh, no, I want the spoon. <laughs> so you can just put the puree in there. I also froze purees and she kind of liked that for a while too. But it, it can get a little messy because when they squeeze, it squirts out. So that's the one downside of these. And also I had carrots in it and one of mine stained because I left the carrots in there for a little bit too long but it's much easier to clean because it's silicone and I think it's really, really handy. I love the, the ability to have it freeze and stuff like that. So this is another absolute essential that we have love. Other than the lid being a pain and sometimes getting a little messy, I really don't have a lot of cons on this one. So that's what we love about these two feeders and 
they have just been really helpful for us in starting solids. If you've used these, let me know in the comment what your favorite thing to put in them was. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to see more mommy videos, day in the lives, and home videos. We'll see you next time. Bye.